In this example, we will see that we can determine the height of a cliff by dropping a rock from the top and timing how long it takes to get to the bottom. So here's our cliff, and there's water down below. And we're standing up here at the edge. And we drop a rock and it falls. Now let's assume that the point at which the rock starts is at the top of the cliff. In other words, this little distance right here between the rock and the top of the cliff. We'll just ignore that. We'll assume that that's very small, negligibly small, and then the rock falls down here to the water. It makes a splash down below. Now we're told we see it splash in the water 2.4 seconds after it's released. So this is what we know. We'll start by writing down our given information. I'm going to start by saying y0 is 0. That means my initial point here is at height 0. And I'm going to call down positive. So that means that the acceleration is 9.8 meters per second squared and it's positive in this case. Since gravity always pulls down, and in this case down is positive, the acceleration is positive 9.8 instead of negative. Now the initial velocity I also know is zero. So I'll put that v0 is zero because the rock has just dropped. It's not thrown downward or thrown upward and then, then allowed to fall. It's just dropped down to the bottom. And I want to know how high the cliff is, so I can just use this equation. y is y0 plus v0t plus one half at squared. And the initial position is zero, so the first term goes to zero, and the initial velocity is zero, so the second term goes to zero, so my equation is just y equals one half at squared. And then I put in my numbers. I put in 9.8 meters per second squared there for a, and 2.4 seconds, that's my time. I put that in for t. And um, we can list that with our given information. So all my given information there on the top line now. So I just put in the numbers, 1 half times 9.8 meters per second squared times 2.4 seconds squared. And once again, remember that this square, that exponent, applies to the 2.4 and to the s. So that second right there is really a second squared because of that exponent. So the second squared cancels there, and you should see that once again we're left in meters, which is what we would, would expect for the distance. So we just do the math. 1 half times 9.8 times 2.4 squared comes out to 28 meters.